what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so a lot of you guys have been sending me this whole situation with Cher and Cher is with uh, she's 76 and she was spotted a few days ago at Craig's on West Hollywood with none other than Amber Rose's ex, Alexander A.E. Edwards. Now, they were holding hands as they were out there um, in West Hollywood. Um, and then you can see them, you know, walking around and enjoying themselves. And you see the paparazzi taking many photos. But that's not really the elephant in the room is it that she's with Cher? Cher still looks pretty good to be 76 albeit you know she's had you know surgeries and things like that that keep her looking quite young but she's in good shape and things like that the question is more or less about amber rose now i want to talk about amber rose amber rose complained about women younger women age shaming her all right like the younger models you know, basically they were they were age shaming because basically it was when Lotto and Nicki Minaj had that beef and Lotto was calling Nicki Minaj old. So, you know, Amber Rose felt, you know, bad about that because she is quote unquote older and everything. And, you know, being 39 years old and seeing that the IG model industry is closing its doors, then, yeah, you know, it's. It's bad, right? And then go every time she's dealt with somebody, she's gotten worse as far as the guy. Kanye West, then Wiz Khalifa, okay? Then it was 21 Savage. Now, Alexander Edwards, who cheated on her, and I mean, he's the most least, least successful guy. And if this is not insult to injury, he's dating Cher, who's 76. Now, let's go back to the age shaming thing. All right. Women who complain about age shaming. You know what? They don't have a really, um, you know, those women who are, have led with their bodies, I guess you would say that, and not led with other things. How do you explain Cher? Cher is 76. The, the reality is Amber Rose is not a good catch. That's why he's with Cher. He has more respect for Cher than Amber Rose. Let's also talk about the other elephant in the room. Cher's white, okay? And here's the situation. Something that we don't want to talk about. Cher is dealing with Alexander Edwards, who has nothing to offer her. And she's in the same situation that, you know, you would see somebody be in like Erica Badu. You know, Erica Badu dating J. Ron Atkinson. Um, you know. Keisha Cole dating Nico Kale, Amber Rose dating Alexander Edwards. But the thing about it is, is that Cher at 76 has a young black man showing more preferential treatment to her than Amber Rose does. So it must mean then that ageism is a bullshit argument. I'm going to tell you why it is for certain ladies. Um, look at that. Look at that Jennifer Lopez. She got Ben Affleck, married him, okay? For these ladies who are in their uh, 30s and 40s, yes, as you get older, you have less opportunities, you have kids. That's true enough. Here's the situation, though. Sierra proved that if you can keep yourself at least valuable to a guy, he can even forgive you having a kid. The issue is that ageism really only matters when you have nothing else to offer a man, right? That's what it is. Because the thing about being a good woman is experience is a good helper. Guys like women who know what they're doing at the same time. A man likes to be a teacher. He doesn't always want to be a goddamn teacher. Not all the time. It's, it's draining. All right. And if a woman knows what she's doing and she's been trained to deal with a guy the right way, a guy can get past the fact that that woman is 40, 42. It can be a little more difficult. The, the, the reason is that most women tend to be at that age a, a little bit stuck in their ways, not as flexible to the world, which is why men avoid them sometimes, right? 
but the but the reality is that you have a lot of women that are still good looking why are the guys not choosing them the guys are not choosing them because of what you used to be able to do like Deontay Wilder is a good strong overhand right but once you take that from him he's not diversified enough as a fighter that's the situation you're not as diversified as a mate you don't know how to talk to a man you don't know how to deal with a man you don't know how to add value to a man you don't know how to do these things at all okay you don't know how to reach a man you don't know how to communicate with that man and so because you don't listen to what i'm saying because you don't you lose them and you can be crying ageism and then you lose the guy to somebody older than you it, it happens all the time guys and a lot of times women with the ageism argument are not competitive as mates if you're 35 if you're 40 does it make it more difficult to get a man? It is in this one aspect. It makes it more difficult to get a man when you have the same thing to offer that a 25 year old does. That's when you have a problem. If you're a 35 year old woman and you have the same thing to offer than somebody 22, which means that you don't feel like you need to do any goddamn thing for me. You don't feel like you need to be um, any, you know, do anything for me at all as a man. You don't feel like you need to do anything. Yeah, at that point, you know what we're going to be dealing with fundamentally is like why am i dealing with you i might as well go and deal with a woman that's younger because she'll be cheaper typically to deal with and i can at least deal with the potential of a younger person in comparison to an older person right it's just like the same thing in football would you rather have a rookie quarterback or a quarterback of a, of, of a player that hasn't changed his genre or his particular systems in the last 10 years or if you can get somebody like tom brady in free agency would you do it of course if you're a good woman a, a guy's gonna come come get you if you're competitive if you're offering value the problem is amber rose to guys doesn't give any value she's not giving value so when you're not giving value you don't get anything in return People have a hard time with this concept. Why? I don't know. But in life, you only should be able to get what you're giving. You're not giving guys anything. You think they don't know that? They're not dumb. You guys are not stupid. I don't know why people think that guys are dumb. Guys are stupid. Guys are silly. Where? Why do you feel that way? Like you gotta be honest with yourself. Get serious. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first comment at the top, and as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I am out.